हेलो एवरीवन माय नेम इज मिनी सेठी टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट इंटरनेशनल प्रोडक्ट लाइफ साइकिल थियोरी दिस थियोरी इज गिवन बाय रेमंड वर्नर दिस थियोरी बेसिकली सजेस्ट अर्ली इन प्रोडक्ट लाइफ साइकिल ऑल पार्ट्स एंड लेबर रिलेटेड विद द प्रोडक्ट कम्स फ्रॉम द कंट्री वेयर इट वाज इन्वेंटेड दिस थियोरी बेसिकली सजेस्ट अर्ली इन प्रोडक्ट लाइफ साइकिल ऑल पार्ट्स एंड लेबर रिलेटेड विद द प्रोडक्ट कम्स फ्रॉम द कंट्री वेयर इट वाज इन्वेंटेड बट व्हेन प्रोडक्ट यूज्ड इन वर्ल्ड market production shift from the country that invented it i will repeat again this theory basically suggest early in product life cycles all parts and labor related with product comes from the country where it was invented but when product used in world market production shift from the country that invented it okay and according to raymond verman there are four stages in product life cycle introduction growth maturity and decline according to raymond verman there are four stages in product life cycle introduction growth maturity and decline and based on these four stages raymond verma divided product into three categories okay first category is new product second category is mature product third category is standardized product one by one we will discuss about each category first category is new product in this category develop country innovate new product in this category develop country innovate new product because we assume that mostly product was innovated by develop country that's why develop country that innovate product is called innovative country develop country that innovate product is called innovative country initially product will manufacture only in innovative country initially product will manufacture only in innovative country when sale of product in increase initially when sale of product increase innovative country start export in other developed country when sale of product increase innovative country start export in other developed country why why innovative country start doing export in developed country because innovative country are developed country as we earlier discussed innovative country are developed country and innovative country start export in other developed country because taste of both countries are similar income of both country, countries are similar. similar and preference of both country are also similar that's why when sales increase innovative country start doing export in other developed country now we talk about second category second category is mature product in this stage product has established in innovative country in this stage product has established in innovative country that's why innovative country open up their plants in other developed country also because product has established in innovative country that's why innovative country start open up their plants in other developed country and other developed country also doing production of this product with improved technology other developed country also start doing production of this product with improved technology as a result a production of innovative country start reducing because competition is increasing and price of product is also reducing now product become more mature and affordable even less developed country can also buy this now product become more mature and affordable even less developed country can also buy this that's why developed country start doing export of this product in other in less developed country that's why developed country start doing export of this product in less developed country please keep in your mind in this category in this stage only innovative country and other developed country are doing production but under developed country or less developed country only consuming the product okay now we talk about third category third category is standardized product slowly slowly product become standardized okay that's why under developed country also start production of this product now under developed country or less developed country also start production of this product okay because other developed country and less developed country both are doing production of this product that's why production of innovative country start declining at very fast speed because now developed country other developed country and less developed country both are doing production of this same product okay as a result production of innovative country start declining in very fast speed okay because under developed country have excess supply of labor as we know under developed country has a excess 
lesser supply of labor that's why underdeveloped country was able to produce larger quantity of this product and start doing export of this product in other developed country because underdeveloped country have a excess supply of labor that's why underdeveloped country was able to produce larger quantity of this product and start export of this product in other developed country okay we understand this with the help of one example Personal computer firstly invented in USA. Okay, initially USA export this product in other developed country like Japan. Okay, after a certain time period, product becomes standardized, and China, which is a developing country, start doing production of these goods and start doing export of these goods in developed country, even USA. Okay. Now we understand this theory with the help of diagram. This is very simple and easy diagram. On x-axis we take time period. On y-axis this side we take export. And this negative side we take import. Okay. There are basically three curves. This black curve represents innovative country. And this red curve represents other developed country. And this green curve represents less developed country. Okay. Initially in new production product stage a developed country innovate product in new product stage developed country innovate product that's why this country called innovative country okay initially new product development stage when sale of product increase innovative country start their export in other developed country as we earlier discussed in new product stage when sales of innovative country increase it start their export in other developed country okay this red this red curve represents and other developed country you can see import of other developed countries are increasing here because innovative country are exporting here okay when product become more mature and affordable in second stage when product become more mature and affordable even less developed country can also buy this that's why other developed countries start doing their export in less developed country you can see this green diagram represent less developed country here you can see import of less developed country are continue increasing because other developed country, countries are exporting here okay in final slowly slowly product becomes standardized you can see here this green curve represent a less developed country export of less developed country are increasing because now as product becomes standardized less developed country also doing production of these goods and increase their export in other developed country you can see like export of less developed country are continue increasing because less developed country are start their export in other developed country okay this is all about this theory i think you got it and thank you so much for watching this video bye take care